This over here is the ASUS ProArt StudioBook 2023 model, and this has 32 gigabytes of RAM installed from the factory. But the good thing is you can upgrade it because it does have two SODIMM slots. So you can add one of these, one of these, add as much RAM as you want. But the thing is, it comes with one slot occupied, not two slots occupied, which gives you the benefit of just buying one dim stick and adding it in there, giving you twice the capacity what's already installed. The downside of this is that it only runs single channel memory because the secondary slot is not installed, meaning your RAM will only run single channel. But what if we add a secondary slot? How much better performance are we gonna get with two sticks? and with higher capacity. So I have tested this with the 32 gigabytes included, what it comes from the factory, and also upgraded this RAM to 64 gigabytes, so 230 gigabyte sticks. You're gonna see what's the performance difference in creative applications, as well as which one of these benchmarks is using a lot of the capacity of the RAM. So you'll know perhaps in your workflow if you need more RAM or not. Let's go. Looking for a cheap way to license your windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. First of all, I want to say big thanks for my friends at Kingston when I asked if they can send me some of these kits and they did. This laptop supports 52 200 mega transfers per second a RAM up to that. The interesting thing is though, if you buy a 5600 mega transfers kit, which I have actually on this laptop, the BIOS of the laptop will down clock it to 5200 mega transfers per second, even though the 3980 HX CPU does support 5600 mega transfers, but they are just going with the a bit more safer route and saying, look, we'll down clock the RAM a little bit so that our IMC will not have as much strain on it trying to run these faster speeds with larger capacities if you go for the likes of 64 gigabytes. So you can buy a 5600 mega transfers kit or you can buy something like this one. So this is the Kingston value RAM and this is 5200 mega transfers uh, per second and you can buy this as a kit right you get two sticks in there or you can just buy a single dim slot like that 32 gigabytes and then slot it in there and then you'll have 64 gigabytes in total. So this basically gives you a bit of flexibility in the options of upgrade. You can go with 52 if you find it cheaper or if you've got a kit, perhaps a 64 gigabyte kit that you want to go for, you can buy that one as well. It will down clock it to like the safe speed anyway. If you want to check out this laptop or the RAM kits I used, I'm going to leave them linked in the description below. First of all, let's have a look at Adobe Photoshop and photo editing. With 32 gigabytes, we got 1041 points but with 64 gigabytes we've got 1201 points bear in mind this is an average of about five to seven tests that i have done and each one of those tests might do uh, like um one of those tests many times as well so this is not just a single test this is average of a lot of them to give you accurate results now this is about 15 to 16 percent increase in there which is quite a big increase actually going for that one so if you are photo editing i highly recommend upgrade the RAM to 64 gigabytes and using dual channel DDR5. As you can see, even the GPU, general filter, everything will go faster. And if we are looking at the maximum capacity that we used during this benchmark, then I measured the benchmark again with 64 gigabytes. And I can see that the physical memory used we used was 35 gigabytes. So we did exceed the 32 gigabytes and perhaps 32 gigabytes will be bottleneck for you over there. But if you are using a lot of layers in Photoshop, working with a lot of different photos, layers, effects, and the project gets more and more complicated, you can see that 32 gigabytes probably is a bottleneck for your system. So the upgrade is worth it. Sorry, my bad. We actually used 43 gigabytes of RAM, 43.6 gigabytes of RAM. So the 32 gigabytes will be quite a big bottleneck. In Lightroom Classic, unfortunately, this laptop actually crashed the benchmark, probably because we have the ASUS style and the actual benchmark. They don't work quite together because they're both kind of like an extension to that Lightroom Classic. I'm not saying that Lightroom Classic, uh, you know, crashed 
crashes but just the benchmark for this cr crashes so i don't have results for you there but i do want to say that very similarly to photoshop i'd recommend upgrading the ram to 64 gigabytes especially if you're uh, exporting loads of uh, photos or adding effects to a lot of photos or doing some big panoramas 32 gigabytes starts to become a bottleneck and also the actively working with photos a lot of the data gets stored on ram as well so if you have duo channel it just will be faster moving on to video editing and adobe premiere pro with 64 gigs of ram as you can see we're getting quite a big increase especially in some of these things now this is the new puget bench um, for premiere pro where we are actually testing the raw codex and then standard codex so you can see raw intrafave and long gop so you know like which codex you're working on you'll see how much performance you're going to gain but as you can see when we're looking at the raw and intraframe codex you see a huge performance increase up to 24 percent which is insane now the lowest increase we can see is about two three percent in some of the gpu effects but even there when having more ram or having the dual channel ram you'll get better GPU score, better raw score, better everything. In standard and extended overall score, we're getting about 10 to 13% on average increase. But in some of these codecs, especially if you're working with raw and intraframe, you can see up to 24% increase, which is just insane. Again, worth upgrading to dual channel. And if we are looking at how much RAM did we use for this benchmark, you can see we used 35 gigabytes of RAM. So even this benchmark exceeded the 32 gigabytes. In my experience and working with Premiere Pro, I highly recommend upgrading to 64 gigabytes because 32 gigabytes will be the bottleneck with a lot of the system, especially if your timeline is more than a few layers where you start to work with different cameras, where you've got more than one 4K clip on top of each other. And when you start exporting, it starts to use a lot more RAM. And if you're using more than 4K codecs, like 6K perhaps B-RAW or some of the raw codecs come in because this laptop can handle it actually. Uh, have a look at my Premiere Pro test with what we did with this laptop and you'll be very impressed the type of performance and what codecs this laptop can handle. 64 gigabytes will be very, very much necessary. And even on the export, having more RAM, it will just be faster. Let's take a look at Adobe After Effects. In overall score, we increased eight 0.1%, which is not as much as we've seen before, and I would have expected, uh, you know, more, especially when we're looking at RAM preview, and we're only 7.5% increase compared to just 32 gigabytes with single channel, and then dual channel is only 7.5. Interestingly, the render performance is the one where we saw the most uh, increase about 10.4%. In After Effects, actually, we used the most RAM compared to the other um, benchmarks, up to 49 gigabytes were used during this benchmark, which is interesting that we don't see that much of an increase compared to the previous benchmarks, even though we were so bottlenecked by the RAM capacity. But After Effects loves to use a lot of RAM because a lot of the preview, like you see RAM preview, it uses RAM more. So the more RAM you have, the better. So again, even though we don't see necessarily that much performance gain in this benchmark, having 64 gigabytes and the dual channel will be better. I think this benchmark here will really show you the kind of speed difference between the dual versus single channel, but 64 gigabytes will be more represented to your workflow when you're working with lots of different things and the layers start to be more than, you know, a few and it gets more complicated. Suddenly 32 gigabytes is a bottleneck because Adobe actually reserves a few gigabytes for other applications as well. So you can only work with about 29 gigabytes, but when you have 64 gigabytes, Gigabytes, then you have more than 60 available. So that will be really, really helpful when you want to work with After Effects and get the best performance from your CPU and GPU on this laptop. And now DaVinci Resolve, moving from 32 to 64 gigabytes, we get about 9% increase in the standard and extended overall scores. And 4K media is about 5, 8K media about 6.5%. And the Fusion score, interestingly, is about 17% increase. The Fusion is more like single threaded and more RAM dependent, as you can see. Having a dual channel will make it so much faster. Now, DaVinci Resolve, I would say, 
is not as RAM dependent and is not using that much RAM. It wants to use a lot of VRAM. Whatever I have been testing, it's much more efficient in the RAM, but likes to use a lot of VRAM. So this GPU here has eight gigabytes of dedicated RAM and it's gonna use all of it during that benchmark. So my recommendation for the Winch Resolve is rather than having more capacity, make sure that you have the dual channel so you get all of the performance. So you can save a little bit and get a secondary slot or secondary slot occupied by just, you know, 16, 16 gigabytes. But this laptop already comes with 32 gigs installed. And I just recommend just going with the other 32 gigabyte kit. There is an other 32 gigabyte stick. There isn't that much difference between 16 and 32 gigabytes in the secondary, um, you know, stick there. So probably worth, again, upgrading to 64 rather than 40. 8 or 42 what is it 48 gigabytes yeah and during this benchmark we only used 28 gigs of ram which means that this benchmark is not ram bottlenecked at all as long as you have more than 32 but just the dual channel here is what you see the increase there like i said it's not capacity bottlenecked it's more like a single channel versus a dual channel bottleneck now there's other applications there as well you're saying what about you know all the 3d applications like cinema 4d v-ray blender octane bench all the other applications and i'd say the same thing um even though these benchmarks are not capacity bottlenecked and are, are using just more kind of the uh, rendering application on the gpu or cpu and ram doesn't make sense or isn't bottlenecked in this benchmark when you're actually working in blender v-ray uh, octane render unreal engine whichever 3d application you're using again i highly recommend having at least dual channel there and 64 gigabytes if you're taking this seriously the upgrade isn't that expensive compared to the performance you're unlocking from this laptop. And I like that Asus has done this actually, that they have given you 32 gigabytes and have given you just the free option of, look, when you upgrade, you're gonna not just get more capacity, but you're also gonna get a bit more performance. You don't have to throw away your stick that we have already installed from the factory. Just add the secondary one and then voila, there you go. Just, sometimes they install you like dual 16 gigabytes, for example, and then you get 32 in total. Yeah, it might be better, but when you upgrade, you're gonna have to just throw them or sell them or whatever. It feels a bit more of a waste rather than just adding the secondary upgrade slot. In conclusion, I highly recommend upgrading this laptop to 64 gigabytes to unlock the most performance out of this so your CPU, GPU, other application software isn't bottlenecked by just your RAM capacity. Upgrading this is super simple. If you don't know how to do that, I've got a guide on my channel. I'll show you how to do that. It's it's completely like everyone can do it. All you have to do is just get a screwdriver to screw those up. Go check out that video. I'll explain everything down there. The interesting note here is that perhaps in the future, when we get 48 gigabyte dim sticks, so dim sticks for, you know, laptop, these are the smaller ones, then this laptop potentially could be upgraded to 96 gigabytes, which for some creators will be very, very good news, especially if you're rendering large 3D scenes and you need to load all of the assets onto your RAM in Blender, for example, that will be quite good. So check out this laptop and this RAM in the video description below. Thanks guys for watching and bye-bye.